Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're going to take a look at Nitrix Linux. It's powered by Debian, of course, and it has the NX desktop, which is on top of KDE. Presently, we are at their website, but before we get started, I want to remind everybody, please like and subscribe to my video. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. Plus, if you do subscribe, you get entered into the Dell XPS 13 giveaway that we're doing on October 31st, 2021. Back to Nitrix Linux. This is their website. You pull the page up. It's pretty straightforward. They've got all their social media and places you can contact them up here. And it says, welcome to the NX world because it's the NX desktop. And it just states here, Nitrix is a Linux desktop distribution directly based on Debian. It uses the Calamari's installer and includes the NX desktop and NX firewall on top of the KDE Plasma 5 desktop environment and Maui Kit applications. Okay, so we've got it downloaded and we've got it dropped into a virtual machine. And if you notice, the buttons aren't over here. The buttons are actually part of the toolbar that's up here or the panel, I'm sorry. And you can close, maximize, or minimize from here. And then it drops it down to the dock, which is nice. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Right off the bat on the dock, you've got Index, Noda, Firefox, System Settings, and Station. Let's go ahead and go to Station, and let's see if it has HTOP. HTOP it does have. At present, it's running 1.01 gigs of the 1.93 I have assigned to it. And on CPU, it is running about 3 4%. So that's not too bad, actually, at rest. So let's go ahead and close out of that real quick. Let's open up the file manager. And as you can see, the file manager, we've got it open. Let's go ahead and double click to make it bigger. And instead of having everything itemized over here, you pretty much have it in an icon. You've got home, you've got desktop, documents, downloads, music, pictures, videos. So let's go back to home and you have your folders right here. I guess you can go to a list mode. Yes, you can go to a list mode or grid. You can sort by type, date, modified size, name, show folders, show groups. Hidden files, I guess you can turn that on and it shows all your hidden files. There you go. Let's go ahead and shut that back off. And then you do have a split view to where you would have both sides side by side. So let's go ahead and turn that down. There's the overview. Favorite files, downloads the audio and picture, remote locations, devices on all disks. So that's pretty cool. It's a decent looking file manager. So we closed out of that. Nota, let's pull up Nota and see what it is. Nota is a text editor. So you can see line one there and you can start doing your coding right there that's pretty interesting untitled save as file share okay so we've closed out of that let's go to system settings and over on system settings they got everything laid out pretty good here you've got appearance okay and you've got like your kde theme so it's on top of kde so this is where that comes from so right now we're at nitrix dark global theme application style you can come in and change your applications just like you can on kde plasma style you can adjust that colors window decorations fonts you can change the size of your fonts let's see if we can up this let's go there let's go to 12 okay and apply okay the fonts got bigger that'll work icons cursors font management and then your splash screen okay so you've got relatively the same settings and changes that you can make on kde just inside the nx desktop so let's close out of that so it comes with arc buho clip communication firefox gnu imager Heroic, Index, Inkscape, Install Nitrix, Install Itch, in KCalc, Caden Live, Cavantum, LibreOffice, NX Software. Let's go look at the NX Software. So this is the NX Software Center. Let's maximize that. Okay, that's pretty decent looking. Now from what I was reading about Nitrix, it is based on Debian Unstable and it has connections with Ubuntu LTS. I wonder if they're drawing from the Ubuntu Software Center. Let's do a quick search, OBS, search. Okay, I do not see OBS listed. There it is right there, OBS screen recorder. So you can do a pretty good search up here. Let's do Blender, Blender 
and it's an app image. That's another thing I was reading about this distribution is some of the software that you download is actually going to be an app image. It uses the app images quite a bit in this system. System settings, system monitor, let's see what it's stating it's using. Okay, at present it states that it's using one gigabyte of the 2.9 gigs assigned and then about three to five percent of the CPU. There's nothing running in the background. History, processes, and then you could always add a new page. So there's system monitor. Let's go over here and open. This is a very good looking distribution. You've got station we've already looked at, spectacle, which is your screenshot, shelf, picks, nota, nitro share, wine installed out of the box, and wave. What is nitro share? It comes in a dark mode, but you can't really see what's in the background. Nitro share is a desktop application that makes it easy to transfer files from one device to another but you just can't see what you're typing there see now that comes up what if we close out can we read it now no it depends on I guess the background let's open that up so we can read to transfer files use the menu item in your system tray after selecting the files you want to transfer simply select the device you want to transfer them to and they will be instantly transferred that's interesting that's awesome okay so that's available as well now background wise aesthetic wise it's very clean looking i like the font that they're using on the panel is the panel adjustable layouts add dock panel default dock default panel edit panel okay so i guess you can make changes to the panel you can justify locations on the top always visible appearance items absolute size, the length, maximum, background, 100% opacity. So I could guess you can change the opacity and, oh shoot, you can make it bigger. Let's go ahead and shrink that down just a little bit. Let's close. Okay, so I made the bar a little bigger and then made the opacity a little more. But you've got those settings up here. You've got your calendar, you've got volume, you've got battery, you've got ethernet and you've got your nitrix button over there. Let's check backgrounds, can bigger desktop and wallpaper. See what kind of wallpapers we get out of the box. So we've got a mixture of nitrix wallpapers. I see some KDE wallpapers. Let's go with something that's not so ominous black. Let's try that, okay. Hey, all in all, nitrix seems like a pretty steady, pretty solid operating system. I definitely like the NX desktop on top of KDE. I like the opacity that you get in the panel and the adjustability of the panel. Uh, seems a little bit easier to do on the NX desktop than in KDE because sometimes it gives you trouble. I like the dock down on the bottom. I like the layout of the app menu up here. It doesn't take up the whole screen. Nitrix is a beautiful, aesthetically pleasing Debian distribution that I think if you're looking to switch to Linux and you don't want to go with the Manjaro's or the Arch base and you want to stick with Debian or the Ubuntu base, definitely give Nitrix a shot. Hey, if you all would, before you go, please like and subscribe to my video. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. Plus, if you do, you get entered into the Dell XPS 13 giveaway that we're doing on October 31st, 2021. Thank you for watching the video, and I will see you in the next video.